Okay, so first things first, go to Preferences, Gizmo, and select Local Coordinate. Now, this is just going to make your life a lot easier when you need to position the 2D patterns in the 3D workspace. Now, go to File, Open Project, and if you check the link in the description or the top comment, I provided this project file, so it's Project File Female. Click on Open, click on OK, and we can get started. So I'm going to start by going to the object browser fabric and over here by fabric one, double click over here and just call this ruffled skirt, press enter and over here by color, I'm just gonna make this a darker gray. Right, so we can start creating the waistband. So just hold on your left mouse button over here and select rectangle and just zoom in so you can see here's the character silhouette and we just wanna create a waistband. So just click and drag a rectangle like this, it should be fine. And then you know, you'll know you notice that I, I can actually see some numbers on here. And to get your numbers to show, if you're using an earlier version of Marvelous Designer, just right click and you'll see an option that says show line length. In Marvelous Designer 10, go to this icon and enable this. All right, so now I'm gonna go to transform pattern, select this part of my waistband, right click and I'm gonna go to symmetric pattern with sewing. So it's creating a duplicate and as soon as I left click, it creates that duplicate. So we need two pattern pieces over here for the waistband. So now I want you to go to this icon, you'll see a menu pops out and you want to select thin textured surface. So now in the 3D window, you'll see that this pattern piece has one side that's a lot darker than the other side. And this is the normal and it should always be facing the character. So now I'm going to select this back pattern piece and just move it back over here with the gizmo. All right, and to fix the orientation of this normal because it's still facing the wrong way, make sure this is selected, right click and go to flip horizontally. So now the normals are facing the correct way and I'm going to start doing some segment sewing. So we're just sewing this piece onto this piece and this piece onto this piece. So it's these ends. Press spacebar to simulate that and we've got a waistband. So now it's time to create the skirt. So just hold on your left mouse button over here, select rectangle and let's draw the rectangle like this till about there. So I'm just creating half of the pattern. Then I'm going to go to my edit pattern and I want to move this in a little bit and then I'm going to go to this edit curvature and this is going to allow me to create some curvature for the skirt and I need this curvature to accommodate for the hips on our character and that looks good so now to get this pattern onto the other side to create the complete skirt pattern I just need to go to edit pattern select this line right click and go to unfold and now I've got it on both sides so now I'm actually going to select this pattern piece I'll double click over here and you can see the dots turn orange, which means that I'm doing a uniform scale. And I'm just going to scale this up a little bit, else the skirt is going to be really small and extremely tight on the character. Uh, so there we go. So now I've got my front pattern piece. Now I'm going to select this, press Control C and Control V. It creates a duplicate and left click to place that duplicate. So now I've got the back piece as well. Okay, now go back and select Edit Pattern and you'll see that there's some additional dots that have been created over here. Just hold on Shift and select all of these dots and delete them all right, because we don't need them. And just like we did with the waistband, let's position this back pattern piece. So select it, move it over here behind the character and right click flip horizontally so the normal is facing the correct way and let's start sewing this. So the sewing process is very simple. Just go to Segment Sewing. This gets sewed onto this part of the waistband. This gets sewed over here. This gets sewed onto this side and you want to do this for the other side as well. Now make sure all of your sewing lines are straight. If they're not, you can go to Edit Sewing. You can right click and go to Reverse Sewing. So now just go ahead and press Spacebar or click on this icon and you'll immediately have a skirt. Now I'm just going to select these patterns over here and just hold on Shift and just maybe make this a little bit longer. I don't want the, the skirt to be extremely short. Just press spacebar. Now I still need to help this down. Now I intentionally want this to be, uh, be positioned over her belly button. It's just the overall style that I'm going for. And just on the back, make sure you're also pulling this down. Okay, and you saw just how easy it was to extend the length of the skirt. You just make this longer. Okay, so there we go. I've got it into position. And I want to show you how to create those ruffles because they are super easy to create and they look really awesome uh, in this program. So the way ruffles are created, you basically just create a, a piece of fabric that's longer than the skirt. 
in terms of width and you need to basically sew that piece of fabric back onto the skirt and because that piece of fabric is longer than the actual width of the skirt it ends up bunching up and it starts creating those ruffles but now we need to create some regions on the skirt where we're actually going to sew that piece of fabric so the easiest way to do this go to edit pattern select these lines hold on shift make sure you're doing it for the other side as well and select the bottom and there we go. Now you want to right click and go to offset as internal line along curved. So this is going to create an internal line that's basically referencing both of these points and it's going to create an even amount of internal lines. So that all of these internal lines over here, the distance between each internal line is exactly the same. So I'm going to do that as three. Make sure that's on straight line and click on OK. So now it's time to create the ruffle fabric. So you can see the length over here of the skirt. The highest value is 318. You want to make sure this value greatly exceeds that amount. So I'm going to uh, hold my left mouse button down over here, select rectangle, left click. This is going to pop up. So for the width, I'm going to put this on a value of 1110. Now, these numbers don't need to be exactly the same. You can experiment. And then over here, for the height, I'm going to put that on 118 and click on OK. So you can see this is way longer than the highest value on the actual skirt. So now, if I take this piece of fabric and I sew this top piece onto this internal line, you'll see immediately once we simulate this, let me just move this up. Once I actually simulate this, I'm going to press spacebar. There we go. We've got these instant ruffles because there's so much additional fabric that it ends up bunching up and creating all of these awesome ruffles. So it really is that simple uh, when it comes to creating ruffles with Marvelous Designer. So essentially all you're doing for the rest of the, the skirt is selecting this pattern piece, Control C, Control V, left click to duplicate that. And I'm going to be sewing this piece onto this line. So you can see I'm sewing all of the pieces for the front. And then the exact same process will be repeated for the back of the skirt. So let's press simulate and let's control C, control V. Sew this onto this internal line. Let me move this up, press spacebar, and there we go. So I'm going to do that for the back as well. You just simply would select all of these pieces, control C, control V, and then just sew all of these lines onto the back. Let me go to my select and move. Make sure all of these pieces are selected. Move this here and then rotate it and just push this back and press spacebar. So there we go. So we've got the front and the back of this ruffle skirt. So now what I do to make both of these pieces like a continuous piece around the skirt, because you can still see over here it's not connected, is I'll basically go to my segment sewing and I want to sew these pieces together and I want to do that for these pieces as well. So this is going to make it one continuous ruffled fabric. So I'll press spacebar to simulate that and there we go. Now I can just help this out. So I want to visualize this a lot better because the particle distance right now is still on 20 and you know this isn't looking that great uh, in terms of quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my transform pattern and select everything and then over here by particle distance, I want to bring this down to 10. So this is increasing the quality of the skirt. It's almost like it's subdividing it. I will be increasing the quality and it's just going to look way better. Okay, so I put that on 10. Let's see how that's looking. All right, fantastic. So now you can still see the dark regions over here, the normal. If I don't want to see that, I can just go to thick textured surface. You know, maybe if that is annoying you, but there we go. And now one of the most important fabrics that I want to apply on here is going to make this ruffle skirt look way better because right now it's got a standard default preset and I really don't like how these ruffles look. And so what I want you to do is go to your object browser fabric, select ruffle skirt and over here by preset, just click on this arrow. Now this comes pre-installed in Marvelous Design. If, if you don't have it, I included it with the project file and you would simply just load it via this folder. But it, the, the preset that we're using is called chiffon. So as soon as I click on that and press spacebar, it makes these ruffles look way better in my opinion. And I've also seen, you know, images of other ruffle skirts that have been created using chiffon. So there we go. But another way to visualize this a lot better is to actually decrease the particle distance. 
So I'm going to drag a box over everything. It's cur currently on 20, so I'm going to bring that all the way down to 10. Press enter. And this basically, it's like increasing the quality or subdividing the garment, which also brings out more folds and just higher quality and fidelity. So there we go. So chiffon, sh the chiffon fabric works very, very well, uh, especially with ruffles. So you can see the methodology behind ruffles, increase the length of this fabric, generate more folds and more ruffles, decrease this length, decrease the amount of ruffles that are generated. So very simple to understand, very simple to create. But there is some other cool ways we can also modify our skirt. If I go to edit pattern, if I select this bottom line over here and just hold on shift to select the other side and I extend the length of this, I'm extending the original skirt underneath. So if I still want this straight skirt to be visible on our character, let me just press space bar. Hopefully there's no simulation issues. Okay, there's a little bit of some simulation issues over here. So we just need to help it. Help it a little bit. There we go. So you can have a pattern like this. And just help some of those ruffles out of the skirt. So you can have a design like this where you still have the straight skirt and then it's got some ruffles at the top. So there we go. You already created two different designs and you could create an entire dress as well. And to do that, you could create a dress from the actual ruffle. And because there's so much fabric over here, it's almost going to create like a tapered skirt or a flared skirt. So sorry, not a skirt, a flared dress. So let me just press spacebar to stop my simulation. So if I select this ruffle that's right at the bottom, both of these lines, and just extend this out a lot longer, you'll see now if I press spacebar, I've essentially created an entire dress that's also got some ruffles at the top. So just let that simulate. And now there we go. So we've got this offset with the ruffles and the rest of the dress. So have fun with this. You know how to create ruffles now, so you could create some additional ruffles on this piece as well. Uh, but you can see how you can start customizing this to create some more complex garments. But I'm going to undo that and just get this back to the original skirt. So now the same principles apply if you want to create a little ruffled collar as well. And I can reuse some assets. So I can take this waistband, hold on shift to uh, select both of them, control C, control V, move this over here by the neck. Now obviously this is a lot bigger than the neck region, so I need to double click on this dot and make this smaller because I'm wrapping this around the neck. There we go, just move it into place like that. Even if it's intersecting with the character right now, you'll see if I still, if I press spacebar, it's still going to simulate around the neck. So we have uh, essentially just created a choker for our character. And then we just hold on the left mouse button, select rectangle, draw out some fabric like this. I don't want this one to be as high as that one. Just move this over here. And we are sewing this into this. Press spacebar. And there we go. We've got a ruffled collar over here. Now, this pattern piece is still on a particle distance of 20. So I want to bring that down to 10 so that it matches this particle distance as well. Select this, Control C, Control V. Rotate this and put it behind the neck like that and just sew this onto this press spacebar and there we go so now you can have this little uh, ruffled collar maybe this is a bit too tall this choker region but again it, it depends on what you're going for right you have creative freedom when it comes to this program and it makes the process of, you know, iterating and adjusting stuff like this super easy. Then again, to make it one continuous piece, I would sew that. And I would sew that. And there we go. We've got a little ruffled collar on our character. And it's still using the same fabric preset, which is chiffon. But experiment. Try other pre fabri uh, fabric presets. You could also uh, select this, copy it and maybe call this ruffled collar. Then just select these pieces and change this fabric to ruffled collar. Then select ruffled collar and you can play around with the different fabric presets. So maybe try D cotton and see how that reacts. 
right, just to get different results. And then if you just make this a lot longer, so select both of these lines, obviously it's going to make the ruffle a lot longer. Like that. Okay, so really easy to modify. And you could maybe even delete the sewing over here in the front. Where is it? Oh yeah, there's nothing here in the front. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could create an internal line down the center here. And you could go cut. And you could even open up this part of this collar. So you can see there's, there's plenty of ways that you can modify this. Now I'm just going to undo that and go back to the original small collar that I had. And since we're doing this already, you could actually create an, a full outfit right now because obviously I don't want these breasts to be completely exposed. So you could select this line, move it all the way up here, press spacebar, and just help some of these pieces out here at the back. And there we go. This is a complete outfit that we've created in Marvelous Designer while going over the process of creating ruffles. Now I also just went ahead and added an additional ruffle fabric here on the top since we created a complete outfit. But by now I'm sure you know how to do this. right? It's really easy. Uh, just on this pattern piece I created an internal line that goes across. I went to cut and sew. And then I created a longer fabric piece and just sewed that back onto this line to create some ruffles over there. And I think that's a really nice uh, additional detail to this garment. Now maybe another detail I can add to our outfit over here. These internal lines, I'm going to select them, right click and go to cut and sew. Because now I'm actually going to be adding some thickness to this entire garment. So I'm going to select everything over here. And you'll see that there's a add thickness slider. I'm going to put that on a value of 2 and press enter. And make sure I've got thick textured surface selected. Now this waistband area over here, this is why I cut this off. I want to make this a bit thicker, so I'm actually going to put that on 4. And the cool thing is it creates this nice offset between these two pattern pieces with the thickness. So let me just press spacebar to simulate that. Okay, so it's busy simulating. And our garment officially has thickness. So you'll see even if we zoom in on these ruffles, it has some thickness applied onto it now. So this just makes the garment look even better. Okay. So something else I wanted to mention in case you're wondering how I actually textured this garment. You can see there's some additional lines on the ruffles and a fabric texture over here on this part of the garment. I bas I'm basically using my own product. So I've created a product on my Gumroad page. You can ser search for Travis David's Gumroad or check the description for links. I've created these 56 fabric materials that are at 4K resolution and they are completely tileable. So there's a nice wide variety that you can choose from uh, to texture anything that involves fabric. And then I'm also using some tileable display displacement patterns over here. There's 255 of these wide variety of displacement. You can see what it can actually do with fabric. And if you want to, I've also got a mega bundle. So it contains all of these products. There's 461 of these maps. There's tutorials. It's absolutely jam-packed with content. So this is just a fantastic way to support me as an artist and to support this channel while getting a really awesome product in return. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial. The main point of this tutorial was to show you how to create ruffles, but we ended up creating an entire outfit. So I guess that's a win-win. And maybe something I would do right at the end, I would select all of this and just bring your particle distance all the way down to 5. And if you can, even try and go to 3. You're just going to get much better quality on your garment. And then there we go. So you've created an entire garment with some ruffles on it. Congratulations. I'm super proud of you. But also let me know what you think down in the description below. You guys are super awesome. And I truly appreciate the support on this channel so much. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials. And goodbye. Yeah.